Hello, fellow ranchers. All right, let's get back at it here. Now, last time, uh, we had built a warp, as far as I remember, and we were basically just trying to get more resources. I wanted to build another warp, and we had a whole pile of mining things going on, extractors and whatnot. So we're trying to grind on those things so we could build more stuff in the lab. If I remember, that's pretty much where I think we were at. And I think I needed a bunch more pink plorts in order to do some of that. So we planted our odd onions, that was good. Whoa, hey big guy. You do not belong here. No, 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 my friend. Let's go put you back over here. <laughs> Whatever that turkey was doing. That wasn't good. All right, how have you guys been? Eh, a little bit of an appetite. And lots of tabby parts. Let's get these. Now I'll throw these in the... Oh, uh, uh, there we go. Into the, um, the resource collector over here, just because there's not much point um, putting the... Uh, the tabby parts in here, I don't think, really. I mean, 27, well, they're, not, they're worth a little bit. I don't remember what we have for tabby parts down here. And we will need, uh, we need... I don't know what we need right now, to be honest with you. Oh, take it easy there. Take it easy. Again, it's this, this kind of combination between... Um, collecting stuff for our, uh, our science lab area, and collecting things just for our economy. Alright, let's get out there. Let's get cracking. Now we know that we need a whole pile of um, the rads and the rock um, slot plorts for our, our collector, but I don't really remember about a lot of the rest of them. But that's okay, we're going to put a little bit in. I think I'll be, once we get these things going, I'll be shifting gears probably over to economy fairly soon. Okay. Now, um, let's see. So I have two advanced apiaries already made. Uh, what do we have for, let's see, which one was it going after? Well, I think that one's probably my best one. So I could go with the advanced pump as well. Now I used to put these down uh, just by the, down by the river, <laughs> down by the riverside. They seem to do a reasonable job down there, uh, past the moss blanket. I don't know if that is the best place. I'm sure somebody can uh, advise me that I'm, I'm doing it all wrong, but I think we can, we can probably put those down there for now. They, we at least get resources. I'm not going after necessarily tons of rare stuff, although I don't remember how rare the spiral uh, steam is. My quantum disaster there. Okay, so let's chuck some things down here. And that'll be it up for those two. <clears throat> Those two, excuse me. Now, did I check on... Yeah, I guess I checked on all the rest of the stuff I had going on over here. I think that was a... A novice apiary I had over here before. That should have burned out, right? I've never really noticed that there was a nest up here. That's funny. I don't, I don't know that I've ever... I must have been up here. Hmm. Weird. At any rate, that thing's gone there. Whoa. There's some weirdness here. Like, where, where does that one... Why would I end up down here, I wonder? Hmm. I don't know. 
I love jumping around up top. That is one of my favorite pastimes. And in the other zones, you, you do get to do a lot of it. So there's no complaints for me on that. leave those alone. Those will be done at the end of the day. We should probably go check the stuff we have out in the, uh, the Inigo Quarry, though. Oh, no, I don't want your mint mangoes. You guys... Actually, you know what? I will take a few. Because you guys are doing a pretty good job eating your fill out here. Everybody's getting their favorites out there. to go and get those prickle pears and stuff too. So yeah, this is a pretty good uh, a mix of auto onions and whatnot. So that was a really good suggestion to get these going. Always forget that they grew a mix. And that the ratio is that it's reasonably high. For some reason, I think I was thinking they didn't grow like it was like one or two. But 13 total, that's not too shabby. And now they're just gonna go bananas because they're, they're eating up their favorites in here. Like carrots, get those disgusting orange things out of my face. Why would I want to eat those? What kind of monster are you? Alright, let's head back down here and check out on uh, everybody eating their favorites down here. Oh, they're about to go to town, I think. Alright, well, let's go get the pumps, or the uh, the drills that we've got over in this area. We'll get three cycles, right? Yes. Wow, yeah, we're gonna... We've got plenty of indigonium now. Jellystone in abundance, I'm sure. Oh yeah, that's a great haul. This that's not too bad. 15. We got them all. We got them all. All right. So almost as much indigonium as jellystone, which is pretty good. Now these... okay, so yeah, no, they, they were eating a fair amount of them. Here, I'm just gonna pump them all over here. And then vacuum up these plorts. We'll be using these over for gadgets and whatnot. How many can we get here? I think I missed one. Oh, there we go. So they're eating up. Yeah, they, they don't waste a lot of time. But the key berries. Okay, so we got 50 phosphor plorts. So let's head back out this way. Go towards the, the lab. Alright. Let's load it up. What was holding me back again for getting, say, more pumps? Just pink plorts. That's really it. Hmm. Okay, so those are grown in. We've got some carrots here. We'll, let, we'll go feed the tabbies in a second. And what did I put? Oh, right, the tangles, the crystal tangles. Oh. These super, super pretty slimes. And we'll get the booms and the rock plorts. 
they're filling up pretty quick here. Sixty some. It, it's starting to add up fast. I like it. Now our backpack is we're capped at fifty still here, so more than one trip needed for everything, but that's fine for now. And I think at the point, I think the point this episode airs, uh, the drone update has come out. I believe it was announced to come out um, around the yeah I, I couldn't time it exactly I wasn't able to uh, I don't think I'm able to record an episode right as it comes out so I'm looking forward to getting that I don't know how that shifted in terms of requirements and stuff uh, I, I will once we, we're done with this but um, at the time I'm recording I don't actually know yet so it'll be interesting to see how that uh, that changes things because there's some of this mundane behavior that we have to do these routines that we'll be able to get out of, but my suspicion is that that's going to, it's not going to be a cheap thing to get involved in the, um, in the drone world. I, I suspect there's going to be expensive buy-in. I don't know if that's more of a late game uh, play or what the deal will be there, but I can't imagine it's going to be an early stage thing. Um, you never know. It might be something that's associated with the plot itself. It might be just an upgrade we do on each individual pen. That might be, I mean, that might make the most sense in terms of routing and stuff. Just attach it to here, buy it at this point, and then um, you can just tell it what to do if you want it. And it would auto-route because it would know where this pen is spatially. I don't, I don't know, because I can't imagine it lets you build those things automatically on your own or, like, build them manually on your own. Imagining it must build it automatically, points between where the, uh, the, the slimes know they can, uh, the, the drones know they can take stuff. Regardless, I'm, I'm really excited to, to try that out. That's going to be a nice addition. But I could see it being an addition here. I mean, what is the, uh, what is the highest thing here? The auto feeder is 500. And the plort collector is 500. So I could see drones being at least a thousand bucks or something a plot at least possibly more even like 5000 or something i mean i would imagine they're going to be relatively expensive but maybe not maybe it's just there's so many plots it would just add up by sheer volume so the more automation you want um and it so in an early game you know thing you might not get into automation as much but we'll have a few more episodes here without the drones and then we'll get into those i'm very much looking forward to those Okay, so let's get some more pumps going. There we go. And we should go check out the dervishes down uh, by the the docks. Whoa. Through the smoke and haze. Boom. Bump our head on the crossbar. It's just Port Central out here. It's just ludicrous. There we go. Brick repair is coming out of our ears. That would hurt a lot. Don't, don't put brick repairs anywhere near your ears. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, are you guys ready? The Hunter Dervish combos. I think they are hungry. Although they've still got a lot of stuff going on. Whoa. You guys are brewing up a storm in here. I almost want to make you Largos just to calm you down a little bit. Okay, don't play with your food. Ah, oh, they're going to be everywhere. Okay, what do we got here? The apiary is still cooking. Had a few things. How's this one doing? Now, do we have any more apiaries? Uh, advanced apiary. Yes, we do. Yeah, 
yet. Predictably, they pick up bullets everywhere. Okay, calm it down in there, guys. Oh my goodness. I always take pause before I blast plorts back into cages. Oh my gosh, are these prickle bears almost already done? This one is going a little haywire. You're okay there, little guy. It's like it wants to fall off, but it's... There we go. Yeah, oh wow, we got a bunch here. So I might just go economy here. Did I put oh there right my my squishy. Okay. The plort collector. Yeah, that's not the best location for that thing, but that's all right. Oh, you know what? And I wanted to get more pumps going over here. I have to come vacuum up this zone. It is so out of control, these quantums. All these are doing the pump dance. Oh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to drop this stuff off and then come back because I want to get the pumps going all at the same time. It just makes life easier for timing. Since I'm trying to kind of keep an eye on the clock a little bit, And this is where I, I think I I did use the teleporters locally a lot to go between the lab and the the docks and the lab and just even our main area. It just saves after you do this run enough times you're just like, I, I need I need this to be faster. I think they give you there's an ample number of uh, things they give you that kind of allow you to do whatever you want with that, which is nice. So how are we looking on all this stuff? So yeah, oh, that was my first my first go through of Hunter and Dervish Blurts. That's not too bad. So we got to put some tangles in there. Okay. Let's go get those other things going. I'm going to let these vegetables finish growing. They can pop right out of the ground. These don't play with your boards. And I don't remember. I have, I can't recall at all what um, uh, Manomi Park, the the publisher, has the developer has in the roadmap for the upcoming stuff. I I don't remember at all. So. I don't know, after drones, what the plan was. So one spiral steam, that's good. Two spiral steams. I will take them. Alright, let's put another pump down. And one more. Beautiful. Okay. I should have put down another drill while I was out in the, uh, the drill zone. Out in the quarry. You know what I think I'll do is I'll grab some quantum floors here as well. There's a port mower coming through. Port mower. Driving through a field of mosquitoes. Things are bouncing off my backpack. Probably not a bad thing to stir it up a little bit. There we go. We got 50. I'm going to sell these ones. I'm just trying to keep on balancing. Oh, they're only worth 49. Oh, well. They're at 23,000. That's not too bad. Okay, let's go take a look here at our 7Z reward 
club things. So we get a path upgrade, sure. Porch upgrade, sure. Some colors, sure. Arch upgrade, sure. <laughs> uh, we get some more colors. Ah, the slime toy shop. That's what I want. Yes, and I will stop there then. Oh, we got star mail. Slime enrichment devices now on sale. The 7Z Corporation. Ms. LeBeau, the 7Z Corporation would like to congratulate you on obtaining the rank of Rolling Beetle 1. With this rank, you now have access to a revolutionary new technology for slime enrichment and preoccupation from activities that would otherwise hinder ranching. We call this new technology Slime Toys. Slime Toys cannot be purchased from the shop we have just installed on your ranch. Please excuse the excessive pauses in that last sentence, but our technician drones may have needed extra time for the installation, and we did not wish for our claim to be inaccurate. The 7Z Corporation giving robots time to do their job right one sentence at a time. Also, Chroma Packs now available. Ms. LeBeau. The 7Z Corporation would like to congratulate you on obtaining the, the rank of Skylark 1. With this rank, you now have access to a new avenue of self-expression, Chroma Packs. Chroma Packs allow you to apply new color schemes to your ranch house, backpack, and range, ranch tech, allowing you to stand out from all the other ranchers in the far, far range. And while we realize that most slime ranchers have never seen another rancher given geographic separation between your ranching properties, we have a feeling that they know. Oh yes, they know. Please also know by the time you've read this message, the 7Z Corporation has already installed a Chroma Pack terminal just outside your home. The 7Z Corporation, covertly installing machines outside your home quickly and reliably. And there it is. I, you know, I, I do love the sense of humor that they brought to this. Oh, look at these. The, these, uh, it's like a wickets with uh, some paint. Uh, so is that, uh, was that there before or did that get installed? I don't even remember, there's so many things. So we got new colors here. So, let's see, how does Grape Shaw look? It might look good in the day. It's kind of dull at night. Let's see, um, I think I did Milkshake before. I kind of like Milkshake. Yeah, let's try Cobalt. Oh, that's not too bad. Uh, I like the, oh, it changes the color up top too. And let's try Firecracker. Ooh, look at that, I like that. All right, let's go with Firecracker for now, and then we can we can change our tech. So we're now, our, our tech is now Firecracker. Okay, that's selected, and our backpack, oh, I see. Oh, wow. Hmm, this is a very, uh, I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna take firecracker on that one too. And then all of this. So we'll see what this looks like in the day. Oh, it's red. I see these hints of red. I think I did this one in the past. I like this. All right. And look at all of our uh, paths and look at all these installation things that it just spruced the place up. Look at this guy. Happy slime ranching. That's quite nice. All right, let's put these spiral steams. So I think we're still one short for being able to build that next uh, teleporter. So that'll be nice to do. Then we'll be able to, uh, I think then at that point, I'll go out to the ancient ruins again and to the, uh, the glass desert. Okay. Oh no, we do have enough for the gray teleporter. We can also do the pink teleporter. Ooh, look at that. Well, given we have way more than we need on Indigonium, maybe we'll do that one. No, that's exciting. And then we just need to get another, one more strange diamond and we can build the pink one as well. Oh, I like it. That's fantastic. Oh, I don't even need resources to make the pink slime lamp. What? Oh, I see. Never mind. Okay, I don't, yeah, I don't necessarily need that, but I will do that soon. That's what the phosphor slimes will be really helpful for. Beautiful. All right, well, let's feed these critters up, and then I think we'll take a break. So that's good. Yeah, we'll barrel along the 7Z. Again, it gets really expensive as you go. You can see we're already at the 40, whatever, $4,500 mark per level now, and it just keeps exponentially going up. 
I don't know if exponential is the word. It goes up on a curve. It gets steep. Very quick. So we got the low level stuff. We got all that low hanging fruit there, but now it's going to get a bit more difficult to reach those higher levels. I'll have to get you guys some odd onions out here. Poor tangles. My poor little tangles. How are we doing floor wise though? Not too bad. Ooh, there we go. Treasure cracker mark two. So this is what I've been trying to get. So that's beautiful. So again, I get I don't know. Again, either pump cycles or uh, going up a 7C ladder. I, I don't know. Something. We triggered it somehow. So the crystal pour, 89 of those in here. I think I'll stop. I'll just start selling them now. They're worth enough. And uh, so we have... Oh, let's see here. Yo, I, I see. I can get the refiner link recipe. Why do we do that? I, I should be getting that Gordo Snare at some point. That's kind of fun. Maybe we'll get that. Okay, that's that. And soon enough, we'll be able to start playing with all these things. All right, we will see you all next time. Till then, bye-bye.